So for any of those people out there who has watched any of my other reviews from the Marvel films, so basically all two of you, know that I am a huge Marvel fan. I am a Marvel fanboy, fanboy geek, you know, whatever you want to call me, since day one. Since my wife and I sat down to see Iron Man for the first time, all three of us that were there in the theater who <laughs> watched it that day, I became an instant fan of Marvel. All the Marvel movies, every time one comes out, I'm there. I will go see it no matter what. So now we get to Captain Marvel and this was sort of like Doctor Strange to me. It was like one of those movies that, okay, I'm gonna go see it because it's a Marvel film. Don't really care about it that much because I don't really know the character. But at the same time, that's kind of why I like a lot of these Marvel films, because I may have heard of the character. Of course, I've heard of Captain Marvel, but I knew nothing about her, knew nothing about the character, don't know her origin story, don't know anything about this character whatsoever going into this movie. And I was like that with Thor, and I was like that with um, Doctor Strange. Because, again, of course I know who Thor is. I know he's a hammer. I know he's a god of thunder and all that. Who he is, where he came from, his origin story. I didn't know any of that until I saw the movie. And the same thing with Doctor Strange. I know he was some sort of wizard of some sort. And he had a cape. And that was all I knew about him. So seeing these origin stories about characters I don't have a clue about is pretty fun. So let me get to this right off the front here. Right off the first thing here. The first thing I say about this movie is all this controversy surrounding this movie because of Brie Larson. If you don't know, and I don't really know that much either, because I kind of stayed out of it. I've been seeing posts on Facebook and, you know, things like that about how they're going to protest this movie, how it's going to be a flop, how it's going to be Marvel's first huge flop and it's not going to make any money. But if I remember correctly, she said something like... And then I heard it was taken out of context, and then, you know, she never really said that. And you know what? I don't care. I absolutely don't care about any of that stuff because I go to the movie to be entertained. If I never went to go see a Tom Cruise movie because he thought, you know, babies came from volcanoes, I would miss some great movies because he makes fantastic films. <laughs> so I don't care what she says. So with that being said, let's get into the review here of Captain Marvel. Now, going into it, I knew Captain Marvel's name. That was it. I, I knew nothing about what this movie was about. I didn't know her character, like I said. And I was actually pleasantly surprised with this film, but I also had some issues with it. So first let me talk about the stuff that I enjoyed. And this is a spoiler-free review. i um, not going to give any spoilers out here, like I usually never do unless I, I need to. But yeah, I'm not going to spoil the film for you. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is not a huge spoiler-filled review or anything. The movie actually takes place in the 90s. And it was kind of cool to see that. It was cool to see sort of, um, you know, a 90s period piece. Because usually when a movie comes out, it's always either in the 50s or the 70s or the 80s. You don't really get 90s movies that much. So it was kind of cool to see that. And then, of course, they show right in the beginning of the film, they show a blockbuster video. And everybody in the audience starts laughing. I'm like, wow, really? Because it's just crazy how times have changed since there are no more blockbuster videos. And people think it's funny now seeing one on the screen. I'm just like, oh. Like you didn't spend half your childhood in the blockbuster video, you know. And the other thing this movie tried to do, sort of tried to do like Guardians of the Galaxy, was to put the nostalgic music in the movie. And that's one of the things I think it kind of failed on, was, okay, yeah, it has some good music, some okay stuff in there, but it seemed like the scenes that the music was in just didn't fit with the scene that was going on, at least to me anyway. There were good music, but sometimes it was just kind of like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really get that, you know. Like when you're watching Guardians of the Galaxy or something, and they're playing that amazing song and the amazing sequence going on, and they fit. This didn't really do that. So, like I said, this is an origin story of Captain Marvel, and it's also an origin story of Nick Fury. I had no idea it was that, and it was really cool to see that. It was real fun to see how Nick Fury became Nick Fury, how he created S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything like that. And it, it kind of is in this film. I mean, they don't really go on about it too much, but it's in there. And that's what this film really is. It seems like it's a movie to fill in all the gaps that were in all the other Marvel films, like some of the 
okay, when did this happen? How did this happen? Where did it happen? You know, what caused this? Who caused this? <laughs> Stuff like that. It's like all you have all, all these puzzle pieces, this gigantic puzzle, and you still got pieces missing. This movie was pretty much the movie to fill in all those pieces to let you know everything else that was missing in the in the Marvel Universe, it's in this movie. And some of that was really great, fantastic stuff there. And some of it, again, was just okay. I knew the, the character, the bad guys in the film, the, the scroll. I knew of them. I've seen them in comics before, but I didn't know what they were. I didn't know who they were or what, what they could do. And again, it was fun to see that in this film to be introduced to this new race of people. And I really liked these people a lot. The actors that played these characters were great. I thought they were, it was, everything about the, that race of people, I thought was really cool. I really enjoyed learning about that race of people. So then we also have a cat in the film named Goose, which I'm sure you've seen in commercials and they got stuffed animals and he's on shirts <laughs> everywhere because he almost steals the entire movie. Goose was just amazing in this film. Uh, and he's just a cat. I mean, it, it, it's so great <laughs> to, to have that. And it was great. He's a really great character in the film. He's a lot of fun. Goose was amazing. Samuel Jackson did the Samuel Jackson thing that he does in every film or every Marvel film. And after the 97 movies he's made for Marvel, I mean, you know, you know his character. But they tried to flip that a little bit to where you didn't know him as well anymore because he's just starting out. But it's still Samuel Jackson. is still the character. And it was fun seeing him getting into that whole S.H.I.E.L.D. thing. Now we come to Brie Larson. Okay, this is the problem I had with the film. Now, from what I've heard, she did like this major workout before this movie. She was working out like six months before this film. She was lifting up to 250 pounds and she was constantly working out and she was trying to get into shape for this role. And it seems like somebody who was that dedicated to be doing that would be dedicated to this role as well. But I just didn't feel her as the character that well. It seemed like she was just there, but she didn't really bring anything special to the character. I mean, she wasn't unbelievably horrible, but she wasn't that great either, and she's the main character here. <laughs> that's, that's my problem. And my other problem is, I loved the character of Captain Marvel. When you find out who she is and, and where she came from and, and what she can do, it's a freaking awesome character. It's a cool character. But I think she just kind of phoned it in. She was just kind of there going through the paces. And there wasn't, to me, there wasn't any sort of emotional connection between her and the character or really anyone else in the film that just kind of, you know, fell flat for me. I thought sort of the same thing when I saw Th uh, Thor for the first time. It's like he was an interesting character, all right. I mean, he did, they did, he did an okay job. He was funny and everything, but I don't think he actually became the character until the first in fit, the first Avengers movie. And once he was in the first Avengers movie and he got with all the other Marvel characters, his character really just came to life at that point. And he became Thor, and he was Thor. So I am hoping that's what's going to happen with Brie Larson's character once we get into the end game, that she's going to become her character. Now that she's gotten this movie out of the way and gotten the origin out of the way and everything else, when she gets around the other Marvel characters, I'm hoping that she will come more alive, I guess, and embrace the character, become the character, like everybody else has. But overall, I thought the movie was fun. I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of great laughs to have in the movie. There's amazing special effects going on, and it's pretty well action-packed. Um, between the middle and the end, it's, it's really well done. I mean, as all Marvel films are, but once again, it is an origin story, so we, you know, get to know the character, and, and half the movie is trying to get to know this character, as the origin stories are. Is it the worst Marvel movie? No. Is it the best one? No. Overall, I am giving Captain Marvel a 4 out of 5. There was a lot of stuff to really like in this movie, except for Brie Larson's character, <laughs> which is hard to say because that's what the movie's based on. But Samuel Jackson's great in the film. The, the bad guys are great in the film. The effects are awesome. And the, like I said, the character itself, her character, is really cool. It's a really cool, interesting idea for her character. And I hope they explore that a lot more in the end games 
which only comes out in a few months here, people. So yeah, you know, I'm very excited about that. Hopefully you guys are excited about becoming maniacs here on the channel. If you are, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And then after you hit the subscribe button, there is a bell to ring. And when you click on that bell, it will pop up a notification saying, hey, Box Office Maniacs just uploaded a new video. Check it out, or I guess that's what it does. I think that's what it's supposed to do anyway. I don't know if it ever works. Hopefully you want to become one of our maniacs because we love all of our maniacs here on the channel. And I love hearing from you guys, so please send some comments down there below. And I also do have another channel I'm working on. If you like action figures, if you like action figures from movies and, and just you know, collectibles. I have a channel called It Figures, and I will have it linked down there below. Plus, we have some cool shirts that we sell. That's linked down. All that stuff's linked. It's all linked below. Just like all the Marvel films, they're all linked together. My stuff's linked. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time here on...